Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q here. I am happy to share some details about some of the work that I do. This first session that we're going to be having with this video is going to be talking about the Akashic Records. And so what's interesting about the Akashic Records is that we know that some of the work of Edgar Casey and other kinds of uh, cultures have been able to access the Akashic Records. And so uh, it's been really fascinating. And I can give you a brief uh, kind of overview of how I uh, discerned that I was doing the Akashic Records. So back in about 2015, I was beginning to receive spontaneous past life regression pieces that were, some were okay and some were not. <laughs> so that was when I started to notice that I had a new awareness about myself that I was able to go in uh, across time and space and have uh, different awarenesses that might help me now. And so whenever I was looking at some of these past life regression pieces or tragic deaths from other lives, um, I had to find some semblance of symbology or some sense of awareness that might bring forth to me in this present moment more insights that can help me now. And so when I look at the Akashic Records, it's really easy for me to go into a session with a person. The sessions are about an hour and a half and we can do it over the phone or do it in person. And so what happens when a person does a little bit of talking at the beginning of the session and they get to say whatever they want to say or they have questions is I start receiving impressions and I start receiving impressions and once I start going into these different scenes or scenarios then I can start giving them more insights from what I'm experiencing with the Akashic Records. And again it's for the folks that are there, right? It's not about me but I'm able to quickly access uh, the information. And a lot of times too, uh, as an Akashic reader, is that it's kind of like silly. I'm like, okay, the phone's going to ring. We're going to have a session or somebody's going to knock on the door and here we are for a session. And it's like, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to say, right? But as soon as the energy starts kind of moving in, um, then that is when uh, we know that the Akashic records are ready and open for me to go explore. I've also had a few times when people have had experiences that could see the same visions that I was going to with the Akashic Records. So that is extremely wonderful and powerful. There's been a lot of benefits with the Akashic Records. Sometimes when people um, listen and to these meditative states and they go into uh, different visions of their own, it may be, be a process of time for them to really understand what exactly is conspiring to make me feel better, or make me feel more joyous, or make me feel more in love with life, right? So a lot of times we notice that people are kind of having a couple, couple little things, you know, that they're not able to reconcile with. And I can tell you when I first started doing this uh, back in uh, 2015 is that I would ask them to write 20 questions. And then they did that, and then I'm fairly intuitive and fairly insightful with the energy, so it was pretty quick for me just to run down the list to give them a little bit more insight to help them now. And then I moved to three questions because I was like thinking, well, all we're doing is we're just kind of looking at patterns, patterns, patterns in different kinds of ways or different kinds of loops of consciousness. So, um, so we did three questions and that was pretty succinct and pretty fine. And then after I had been doing the Akashic Records for a while, I realized that the Akashic Records were, it was really one, one bandwidth of energy that they're working with. Okay. One bandwidth of energy. So one question or one state of consciousness might be exactly what what's needed for those sessions. Now, when I'm in an Akashic reading session, I have some weird, I have some weird quirky things that happen for me. A lot of times I'm on the day bed here, and this is where my office is, is that um, when the energies start coming in really profoundly, because my energies are always working with me, and then the other person's energies come in, is that I might, might start going into yawning. The yawning is kind of, <laughs> it's so silly, but I do this as a disclaimer when I start an Akashic reading is that the yawning might start because the energies are really big and different. It doesn't harm my body in any way. Um, and it doesn't affect the person that's on the call. Um, and then also, I also go into Kundalini. What that is, is kind of like the goosebumps, full over goosebumps. I call it Kundalini or the cosmic orgasm. <laughs> so when we, when I always sit, when, even when I'm in the session going in and transporting to a different place with the Akashic Records is that 
If I say kundalini, it means we're going to be staying into truth. So these are some indicators here about how my body operates with these beautiful uh, divinity pieces with the Akashic Records. There's a lot of wins with it. There's a lot of healing from it. Um, there's so many examples of the Akashic Records. I had, uh, here's one example. I had a woman that uh, came in um, years ago uh, with a session with me, and she had found that um, she her, her, her beloved had left and um, and he had died early in his lifetime. And they were never, and so I think he was going off to war. And so uh, it was kind of an interesting uh, fascination because at that time it wasn't right for a woman. So they had, they had actually, she had gotten pregnant with this man that went to, to, went to war. And so she never saw him again. And then later on, she remarried and had another experience and has lived a full life in that way. But she came to me with some questions about that. And so what happened with this, a lot of the work that I do also with the Akashic Records is what we call mediumship or talking to spirit. And so that was what exactly is what happened was that the spirit energy was coming through as that young man who died early in life and never knew his, you know, his child, right? But he actually brought the next person in. He actually, <laughs> he actually initiated that consciousness of the new person to take on that young, young man's life. And then also they got married and they had more, more children. But oftentimes, those that come in those forms, in that spirit form, they bring in the right person and the best person to assist that person who's still here on earth. So it's really fascinating. That was I've had so many examples and so many different ways of looking at things that we can really kind of find more solace, more peace, and more calm, and feeling better with our everyday experiences. And so even if we look at past, present, future, or concurrent running timelines, or even uh, star family or galactic energy, is whenever we're doing this work with the Akashic Records, we really want to go got to zero in on what is the best solutions for the person today. And sometimes it comes in a roundabout way, right? So sometimes it's kind of like seeing it from all angles of consciousness, but we start getting guidance uh, through the Akashic Records. And I'm not saying it's from me, it's from what the uh, my clients have brought in and to bring in is that we get the insights and we get more illumination of more possibilities for healing 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 our own selves and I can tell you that when I'm in these sessions and I'm getting these impressions and things um, I've been having a handful of those in the evening uh, to do those records is that we really start noticing the healing not only with the person that I'm working with my client but I'm also receiving that same energy. So I think it's been super fun uh, to do this work. So if you'd like to book a session for an Akashic reading, um, be happy to accommodate the time and day for you so that you can find the right healing energy that will support you as you're moving forward in this beautiful, beautiful planetary school. So I think that's it. So have a most beautiful day and namaste. And let me give you my phone call, my phone number. It's 894 that's not my number. My <laughs> That's my office number. But my personal phone is 832-790-7888. 832-790-7888. Be happy to experience more life with you and create more healing in your beautiful presence here on planet Earth. <laughs> Have a great day and namaste. <laughs>